Okay, we are now at section uh, 29.3, Ampere's Law. And let's look at the uh, PowerPoint. And let's look at the uh, diagram here. When no current is present in a wire, all compass needles point in the same direction towards the Earth's North Pole. And they're just regular compasses. If there's no current, then the compasses act norm normally. When the wire carries a strong current, the compass needles deflect in a direction tangent to the circle, which is the direction of the magnetic field created by the current. And what is the direction that's created by the right hand rule? Again, your thumb. If your thumb is the direction of the current, then the, um, the magnetic field points in the direction that your fingers point. And you can see that they are going um, counterclockwise around um, around the wire. Uh, so uh, the integral of uh, B dot DS is equal to uh, B times the integral of DS, which is uh, uh, B is mu sub zero I divided by two pi R, and the integral of DS is two pi R. Uh, if you take it that, that um, where S is that little segment that encloses all those those uh, those compass points, it's the circumference of a circle, two pi r, uh, and you'll see that the two pi r is cancel, and you end up with mu zero times i, and that's for any path that uh, that line integral that goes around a wire. So the line integral of b dot ds around any closed path equals mu sub zero times i where i is the total steady current passing through any surface bounded by the closed path closed path so the integral of b dot ds is equal to mu zero times i uh, so rank the magnitudes of the integral of b dot ds for the closed pass a through d in the figure from the least the greatest to the least. Well, let's see. A, um, A has all of the points in it. So we've got one amp plus five amps. That's six amps. But it's uh, two amps in the opposite direction. Notice the little X. So that's four amps. So A is four. A B, it has uh, one amp. And two amps, so it's got two amps. Now we're not worried about the direction um, right now. We're just worried about the total current. So A is one amp coming out of the page and two amps going in. So B has one amp. Um, you know, the one, the the two into and the one out of uh, subtraction. So it's just got one amp. C. Let's see where C goes. Well, that's uh, one amp and five amps, so the C is six, and D, uh, let's see, D is five amps and two amps, so D is three. So I would rank them as C, A, D, B. Uh, C, A, D, B, yes, that's correct. Um, now, let's rank the magnitudes of B dot DS for the closed pass, a through D in the figure from the greatest to the least. Well, let's see. A goes all around the, the, the current. B starts to go around, comes across, skips over the current, and back around. So the current isn't, con isn't enclosed by B. Uh, C is, encloses it, just a smaller radius than A. And then D, it encloses it. Uh, a closed path that's a square, not a circle. So as long as they enclose the current, uh, they're all equal to mu zero i. Uh, so A, C, and D are all the same, and B is equal to zero because it doesn't enclose it. So A, C, A equals C equals D, and they're all greater than B, which is equal to zero. Okay, and that's it for this uh, uh, this section.